Hi everyone, welcome to Excel Fort. In this video, I am sharing a data visualization technique in Power BI to build a user-friendly experience to navigate within a report page. When building reports in Power BI, it's important to keep the layout simple and to show only the relevant visuals to avoid misinterpretation of information. This report shows some sales analysis across countries, segments, products, sales versus profit comparison and a trend analysis. If you plan to provide an option for your users to choose the visual that they want to see, it's possible to build an in-page navigation using buttons and bookmarks in Power BI. Here I have recreated the same report providing an in-page navigation with tabs for each visual. Users can click on any tab and reveal the visual underneath. This really gives a web app feel to your report and makes it look nice. Depending on your report content, you can organize your visuals based on what's relevant to your analysis view. I just did it this way just for demonstration purposes. An important advantage of this method is that the report performance is faster as visuals don't generate queries when they are hidden. I will take you through the complete steps from scratch and show you how to make one. You can download the completed Power BI file from the description below. The report I have built here is based on the Microsoft sample dataset that comes with the Power BI desktop. You can access the dataset by going to the help tab and under examples you will find sample data set over here right so let's start by creating a duplicate copy of the main page that I have here right click on this duplicate so let's start working on the duplicate page to create the tabbed navigation over here so I've got uh, four visuals and some shapes on top that's the header let me go and turn on the selection pane under weave here you can see all the sh shapes and the visuals listed here with their names you are also able to go and rename anything that you want i have named uh, sales by country and uh, trend profit and segment right okay so the first thing i'm going to hide these three visuals right these three visuals I'm going to hide as I'm going to include them in my uh, tab navigation, right? So uh, you can click on the visual and hide it. Yes. Uh, to keep it tidy, uh, these are the header shapes and elements. Let me just mark them all by pressing Control and you can right click on it group group them right you can give it a name let me double click and give a name as header right fine we are going to build our navigation tab navigation on a base so for that we can insert a shape a rectangular on the shape we can insert a rectangular let me place it over here and bring down this visual right fine so do some formatting let's uh, fill change the fill color to a lighter gray and turn off the outline and uh, I'll keep the edges to rounded edges to 10 for the tabs let me go and insert buttons we'll choose a blank button I'm going to do some formatting turn off everything first and then start from let's say fill I'll be choosing the lighter gray Set the transparency to zero 
and uh, the outline I don't need any outline so let me set it to 0 but set the rounded edges to 10 yeah this looks perfect let me add uh, the title for this the text will be button text so we have three visuals let me pick the first one let's say uh, trend right let's call it sales trend fine now that I have created this button let me uh, duplicate two times and uh, the second one is going to be trend uh, versus profit sales versus profit fine and the third one uh, products okay so now that I have created three let me align them so one thing we can do is we can mark all the buttons and go to format tab they are align distribute horizontally will align it equally this is great let me change the font to a bolder font for these buttons and I'll go and change the button text to something bigger let's pick a bold font fine now that we have done this next uh, it's better to group them together by marking them right click group so let me go and turn on the selection pane and as you can see you have the group let me give it a name so these buttons will be the active buttons right uh, btn prefix with btn active great now it's uh, better to put it in order so the product will go uh, the last tab and the sales trend will become first so it's better to name it so that you can easily identify uh, double click on this and let's say trend this is uh, versus profit and it's a product fine now that we have created a group let me also make a copy of this group fine the change I'm going to do in this group is first we need to name it properly so this will be uh, inactive inactive fine now let me select again select the individual buttons inside this group I'm going to change the fill color to something uh, lighter so we have picked this this is 10 percent darker so uh, let me go and set a hex code f4 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 would should work yes okay F fine now i'm going to place the active button group on top of this shape over here yeah this is fine and the next step is to place the inactive buttons just behind the active buttons okay to get the right location let me select and go to the properties and the general you find the position so it's uh, y662 and uh, x662 and y146 so let me select this 662146 right so 662146 
so we have the buttons layered on top of each other setting the order is very important as you can see now we have the inactive buttons on top so first we need to bring the active buttons to the top so we can click on uh, the active button group and bring it up and then i want the base which is the layer to come between the active button and the inactive button right okay let me review what we have done so far we have hidden the three visuals that we are going to include in the tab navigation section and uh, two sets of buttons one active and one inactive and we have named them and place them in the right order now we can create three bookmarks and assign to the buttons that we have here okay to turn on bookmarks go to weave and then bookmarks fine before creating any bookmark it's better to organize your objects through the selection pane so i have these three charts over here i need to move it to the top let me select by pressing ctrl and group them together and i'll call it charts fine so in the first tab which is sales trend i need to make uh, the sales trend visible and uh, i can turn off the visibility i mean the shadow of this fine and the buttons i don't want to see the active buttons for profit and products so i can turn it on so this is the weave i just need to see for sales trend let's create a bookmark before you create any bookmark make sure you have selected the correct groups or the elements from the selection pane i need the charts and the active buttons right inactive button group can remain the same okay let me rename it sales trend okay and we'll turn off data current page and set selected visual let's do an update so we have created our first bookmark the second bookmark is for the sales versus profit tab hide the trend turn on the sales versus profit chart let's reposition it and turn off the shadow now adjust the visibility for the tabs high trend profit this is fine so let me select chart charts and active buttons add a bookmark i'll name it sales versus profit turn off data and uh, current page selected visuals then update now we'll go and create the last bookmark for the products let me turn on segments and hide both these visuals and position it right on top of the shape i can turn off the shadow looks okay
now let's go and turn on the visibility of the buttons I need to turn off the visibility of the buttons and turn off turn on the product so trend and profit buttons are hidden what you see is the inactive button uh, buttons that are visible over here right that's give an indication that it can be clicked I can now create the last bookmark let me select chart group and the active buttons I'm going to add a bookmark and name it products and set the correct properties remove data and uh, current page and set selected visuals on and do an update so now we have three bookmarks created and ready to be used so let me test it so I click on trend profitability and the products now I can go ahead and assign these bookmarks to the inactive buttons I've created already let me turn off the bookmarks and uh, in the selection pane let me go and uh, select trend and uh, under action you need to turn on action click on bookmarks and select trend and the profit when you click on profit the bookmark for this is the sales versus profit will be activated and the third one is the product turn on the action bookmark and products great so now let me test how it works so I press control as I work on desktop to check the buttons this is the trend sales versus profit and the product so if I go and click on any country let's say Canada so it's filtered so it works not only that now you get space with this you, you can add more visuals in the canvas and restrict the number of visuals that you want to show to the user right users will not be overwhelmed by the number of uh, more number of visuals on the canvas so let me add uh, a donor chart and I want to analyze let's say a discount band and the discount amount okay also let me insert a smart narrative visual over here I hope you will be able to use this technique in many ways and create user-friendly and flexible reports for your users. Thank you very much. I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a comment below. Subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon if you want to receive notification for my future videos. Thanks again for watching and have a nice day.